Welcome to Deep Deeper Deepest. This is the show where we get to know students from around Barry's campus and their stories, passions, and perspectives by asking them a series of increasingly deep questions. Today, we're here with our guest, Victoria Severiche. We're here today with Abby Grace, and we are here with Camille. And to get to know Victoria, I'm going to ask you to describe yourself using only adjectives, five of them to be specific. Pretty, smart, funny, very funny, lovable, and loving. Those are different. So, oh, okay. so. That's so fun. I think I am kind, I'm creative, I am well-traveled, I am thoughtful, and I think I'm very cheerful. My adjectives would be, I am dependable, I am loyal, I am grounded, I like to think that I'm funny, and I'm kind. Those are some great adjectives. And on that note, the theme of today's show is love because today is Valentine's Day. So we're going to get this started with our deep question. And the deep question is, how do you show love? I think I definitely show love through like little acts of kindness. Um, like I love with the people around me to like compliment them and like say that I like what they're wearing or like how they've done their hair and like little things like that throughout the day. But then like today for Valentine's Day, like I got all my roommates bouquet of and like bouquets of flowers and left them outside their rooms for them to like walk out and like see them in the morning. Um, so you know, like just little things like that that make people feel like seen and feel appreciated. Okay, I show love. I'm a big acts of service girl. So I like to do things for other people. Um, I like to go out of my way a little bit to yeah. do something nice for a friend or one of my parents or siblings. When I'm showing people love, it comes from a place of like, oh, I want to, I want them to know that I love them. It's not just mm -hmm. like I want to like show them this. I want them to know like without a doubt that like I am one of those people. Like if they're going through a list in their mind of like all the people that care about them, I want my name to be yeah. on that list. And maybe that's a selfish desire. Maybe that comes from a selfish place. I don't know. I like to think I have good intentions <laughs> with it. Oh, uh, love language wise, I love getting gifts for people. Like I see something at the store, I'm like, I need to buy this. Let me buy it and like give it to them. Um, even if it's just like randomly. I love seeing things and I love thinking, oh, someone's like this. But when I'm receiving love, I think that I respond best with like words of affirmation. Um, I really don't know if that stems from like doing athletics and like being a cheerleader like most of my life. Yeah. Like that's taken up like a huge chunk of my life. I do that here at Barry and like it just makes a big difference to me when someone like looks at me and is like, you're doing a good job. Like yeah. you're doing this right. Yeah. yeah. For my roommates, I like to clean our kitchen yeah. a lot um, and just like clean up the house, take the trash out. Um, just like little things that is not like giant things that I'm yeah. having to do, but little things throughout my day. Mm -hmm. um, or for my parents, just call them often. And yeah. um, I give my mom flowers sometimes. And yeah. It's really sweet. So a little bit deeper on our next question. When was the first time you said I love you to someone outside of your family? Jesus Christ? I'd have to say it was in my first like big serious relationship, which lasted a while. Yeah. It was from eighth grade to senior year of high school. Oh, wow. Um, so he was definitely the first person that I yeah. said I love you to. And like actually meant it. And like meant it from like, not just a I love you as a person, but like I love you romantically. You know? Okay. Well, I was intoxicated. Can I, can I yeah. say that? Yes, <laughs> you were more than welcome to say that. <laughs> it was this, this guy that I was dating for two years, so. But it was after my birthday and I was, I just felt like saying it, and I said it, mm -hmm. and he didn't say it back, so that's unfortunate. Yeah. But then, later, a few months later, I said it again, and he said it back that time. Okay. So, I could tell you the story of the first time I said I love you to my previous boyfriend, 
if you'd like to, you're more than welcome to. Okay, so we had been talking for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. It was then. Um, but over the summer, my dad wanted to take my brother and I to um, Columbia, which, you know, is across an ocean. So I have like this really big fear of dying in a plane crash. Um, and at that point, I was like, you know what? If I'm going to tell him I love him, it might as well be before I potentially die. So as I was packing my bags um, a couple hours before I was set to leave for my flight, um, I was just like, you know what? I, I think I wanna be more than more than friends. I, I would like to be your girlfriend. And he said, yes. And then I said, I love you. And he said, I love you back. Are you, do, you, do you feel like it takes like a lot for you to be able to say like, I love you to someone? Or do you like, what, what's, I don't know, like. No, um, it's definitely difficult. I think like with romantic relationships, <laughs> I'm very hesitant to say yes. I love you. And I'm usually not the one to say it first, like with boyfriends and things yeah. like that. Um, and I'm usually the one that struggles with admitting it. Yeah. But like with my friends, mm -hmm. I, I'll know someone a week before I'm like on the phone with them like, okay, like I'll talk to you later, I love you, you yeah. know. And that brings us to our deepest question, ah! which is, what is the difference between loving someone and being in love with someone? Joseph, can I say your name on camera? You can say my Joseph name on camera. Joseph Norman Fletcher. <laughs> yes. That's my name. God. I think as humans, we almost naturally love everyone unless they've like done something to like really hurt us, really harm us. I feel like that's natural. Like if you even like someone, then I think that it bleeds over into like you loving that person and you caring for them and like just being happy when you see them. You know, like to yeah. me, that's loving someone. Ooh, okay. This question I was thinking about a lot during my last relationship <laughs> because I felt like love for that person but I didn't see a future with them. And I didn't like think that our love could grow any further. So I guess that's the big difference. Like in love is you see a future, you see the love developing and growing, but then just loving someone, I think can be stagnant. And it's not like, yeah. And you're not necessarily growing with them. You're just like feeling the feeling of loving them. Um, and it's not this big, huge, dramatic thing yeah. of like, you're friends with someone for like a year and then you wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, like I love you. It's just like gradual, like over time, yeah. you love the people that are in your life. But I think being in love with someone has to be like beyond just being happy to see them and caring about them. I think it mm -hmm. does have to be like a feeling that comes like from deep inside you and it like does have like physical connotation to it and you know you do need to be like attracted to that person i think like for that yeah. then you really are like oh no like i'm in love you know yes okay okay i see that so like being in love with someone for you and like i assume for like a lot of people is mm -hmm. just like it's more of like a romantic connection yeah okay. i think so definitely okay um i think loving someone to me be it like a parent or a friend or some anything like that. I, I think it just means to care very deeply about them. Um and to and to, but to also feel cared for by that person. Like I mean I guess I say I love you pretty flippantly, but I'm I I I, I catch feelings. Platonic included, so yeah. So when you think of being in love with someone and being in a position where you can like grow with this person, like what do you think of what like what to you do you think growth and like love is? Sure, I think it's constantly communicating and communicating what you need from your partner and where you want the relationship to go. Um, Big thing in my last relationship, I was always the one communicating like what I wanted and like what my issues, my problems were with the relationship. But my partner like never communicated any of that, so that was a big thing that led me to like not no longer want to love that person anymore. 
Um, so just like the constant communication and like willingness to grow and change things for the person and just like constantly trying to be better for that person. Okay. You got any other questions? That is our last question, but thank you so much, Victoria, for being on the show. Okay. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you. So, yeah. I feel like you need like a more bombastic outro. Yeah, I probably do. Like, I'm Joey Fletcher. I'll see you next time on Deep Deeper Deepest. That sounds great. I feel like you should do my outro. I just did. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm Joey Fletcher, and I'll see you next time on Deep Deeper Deepest.